This video is intended for a mature audience only. If you're a kid, please go away. Hey, dude, Lutzer for Life here, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, we got the final of the archetype analysis videos for good old Mystic Fighters. Today, it is Mathmech. Mathmech is unequivocally the best in Mystic Fighters. Okay, I know some people will kind of argue that, oh, Dragon Maids might be on the same level. No, 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 no. Okay, Math Mech actually has a lot going for it. Dragon Maids, don't get me wrong, they have a bunch of the dragon support and everything that can go for it, but they can't really maximize the most usage out of it. Math Mech, though, being Cybers and all level 4, are capable of making use of some of the best Cyber support cards out there. And also, of course, they actually function as a really good archetype. This deck, if it gets just a little bit more support and good support at that, this deck could be a really good rogue contender. I don't think it'll be meta or anything, but however, with a bit more of an oomph to it, it can definitely make it being a good rogue contender deck. As it is now, it is still a viable, I would say, rogue deck, but it does suffer some issues uh, that the deck just kind of just has to deal with right now. So hopefully we get something that will make it a bit better and, and a lot more viable, but I digress. So what does this deck do? Well, first and foremost, it's an OTK-focused archetype. Generally speaking, you're wanting to make the big level 12 Synchro who does double battle damage and can jack up to like 6,000 damage for his, I mean, 6,000 attack power. Easy. And with that, you generally want to try and close out the game in one single attack. This deck rarely ever needs more than one battle phase whenever it actually does go off. And it allows for the deck to really just be able to steal wins out of nowhere. It, it even surprises me sometimes when I'm playing this deck just how easy it is to steal a win. Uh, as I mentioned, this deck is Cybers and... Uh, that allows them to access a whole bunch of different uh, support, like Balancer Lord, Sign Up Mining, Sign Up Backdoor, etc. Uh, they are primarily synchro focused, but they do have two XCs monsters, uh, and we'll get to those in a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of the XCs. I'll be fully up front. Uh, something else to note is that all of the main deck monsters are level four, and likewise, all of the X check monsters are capable of being made using level 4 monsters. The boss monster is level 12, they have a level 8 synchro, and they have two level, I mean, rank 4 XCs monsters. So, yeah, that's just a kind of general strategy. It's pure beatdown, it's unga bunga to the max. First and foremost, we got Math Mech Edition. This is level 4. 1,000 attack, 1,000 defense. You can target one face-up monster in the field. You cannot spell summon monsters from the, from the extract for the rest of this turn, except Cybers monsters. Also, spell summon this card from your hand, but it cannot attack this turn. And if you do, the targeted monster gains 1,000 attack until the end of the turn. This card, in addition to Math Mech Subtraction, who has the exact same effect, except and loses 1,000 attack for a monster that it targeted, um, are absolutely necessary to play, like, two to three of each, okay? To be completely honest, these cards are big playmakers for the deck and allow you to get easy monsters on the field. In addition to that... Addition is capable of jacking up your boss monster even more, while Subtraction is capable of just making that power gap even better by dropping something by a thousand. These cards are absolutely necessary for the deck to really function, so I recommend playing two to three of each of them. Moving on, we got Math Mech Multiplication. He's a level 4, 500 attack, 2k defense. Uh, I mean, the stats on these guys really don't matter. You're mainly using them for going into other stuff, but I digress. Uh, so, Multiplication. Uh, once per turn, you can target one level 4 Cypress monster you control. Its level becomes 8 until the end of this turn. And if he is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Cypress monster you control in the extra monster zone. Its attack becomes doubled until the end of this turn. You can only use this uh, each effect of Math Mech Multiplication once per turn. And this is really where the uh, game closing out comes into place. You're going to want to have Multiplication out along with one of your dudes. Uh, preferably the tuner, target the tuner, make him level 8, synchro for the 12, and then uh, make the <laughs> level 12 6,000 attack power. The level 12 does double battle damage, so yeah, it's not hard to see where this game, where this deck can easily close out the game in a single attack. Uh, it's great. Moving on, we got Math Mecha Division. Level 4, Cybers, 1500 attack, 1000 defense. 
Uh, you contribute one Cybers monster you control in the extra monster zone. Spell summon up to one level four Cybers monster from each your hand and graveyard. And if division is sent to the graveyard, you can target one face up monster in the field. Its attack becomes halved until the end of the turn. You can only use each effect of division once per turn. Division is a card I'm kind of mixed on. On one hand, he can make the game even easier to close out, but you rarely actually need to use that effect to divide one of your opponent's monsters' attack in half. Likewise, uh, detributing a monster in your extra monster zone to get two more dudes out, one from your hand, one from your graveyard, requires a lot of setup, and also this deck doesn't have a lot of easy ways to get multiple monsters out in that much, like, resources. It, it, this deck is very resource heavy in that it uses a lot, but doesn't make up for it very easily, and that's really the biggest issue with the deck, and Division doesn't exactly help with that. Don't get me wrong, it's nice being able to get rid of your Xyz monsters out of the extra deck, but one of them can do it by himself. And the others is kind of there anyway. So this card is good, but I don't know if I'd play three of them. He's definitely worth playing two at the very least, though. Moving on, we got Math McNabla. He's a Cyber Tuner monster. Effect, 1,000 attack, 1,500 defense, level 4, dark. You contribute one Cyber monster and special in one Math Mech monster from your deck. That right there, basically making him a Lone Fire Blossom, is phenomenal. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one monster... Sorry, when Cybers monster you control in the extra monster zone, it can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase this turn. This is another card you're probably going to want to play two to three copies of in the deck, mostly because he does tutor out the rest of the archetype and also allows your dudes to attack twice. This is absolutely phenomenal for the deck. The only thing is, is that, again, like with some of the other stuff, like Division, he does require a bit of setup to really be able to capitalize his effect on. So it's down to you how many you want to play. Personally, I'm the biggest thing. Uh, I'm personally a big fan of playing three of them. I have seen some builds that play too, so being able to attack twice is absolutely just great for this card and what it does. Next up we got the main tuner, Mathbeck Sigma. He's a level 4, 1 5 is an attack, 1500 defense, and a Cybers tuner obviously, and he's a light. If you control no monsters in the extra monster zone while this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can spell summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Also, you cannot spell summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except for Cybers monsters. You can only use this effect once per turn. If this card you control is used as a synchro material for a Math Mech monster, you can treat it as a non-tuner. Now, that is really nice because being able to treat them as a non-tuner really goes in hand in hand with the level 8. The level 8 uh, synchro monster uh, is a tuner synchro, so if you uh, happen to have this guy and you want to go into the big boss monster, uh, you can just use him for that right there, and it's just really handy. Um, it is nice. I wish that he was a bit better, though. Like, he doesn't do much else, but however... Being effectively a Cyber Dragon for the archetype and allowing you to just combo off even more, he is a necessary 3 of in the deck, being the best tuner. Moving on, we got DXC's monsters, Prime F Mech Laplacian. He's a rank 4, 2000 attack, 0 defense, 3 level 4 monsters with an effect so big his effect goes into his summoning conditions. If a, ma if a math mech card or cards you control would be destroyed by card effect, you can detach 1 material from this card instead. If this card is exceeds summon, you can detach up to 3 materials from it, then choose that many effects. You cannot choose the same effect twice, and you resolve them in the listed order, skipping any that were not chosen. Send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. Send one monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. Or send one spell or trap card your opponent controls to the graveyard. So, typically speaking, unless like you're doing against an, a, a back row heavy deck, you're probably not going to be using that last one. But however, detaching two to send a monster your opponent controls to the graveyard and send a random card out of their hand is pretty good. This thing's effectively an archetypal version of Ouroboros. The big thing is... This card, along with the other Xyz monster, really does not do much for Math Mechs. I'm going to be 100% honest. Math Mechs are totally OTK focused, and making either one of the Xyz monsters is just dragging out the game longer than it needs to be. You can make, and more effectively, it also is just... It's not as resource uh, effective, as I should say, because this, along with Alan Burschen, who, let's just go ahead and talk about him now and get it out of the way, he's a rank 4, 2,000 tag, 0 defense, needs 2 or more level 4 monsters to go into, and you can tribute 1 monster, special summon a math mech from your hand or graveyard, and typically speaking, you're going to tribute himself to get him out of your uh, extra monster zone, and then if he's, if he's exceeds summon, you can detach 2 to 4 materials from this card to then, then activate the appropriate effect. 
Uh, two, add one math mech card from your deck to your hand. Three, add a level four monster from your deck to your hand. Or four, add a spell trap card from your deck to your hand. And this card, along with Laplacian, are honestly good cards. And, and really, to be completely honest, if they were in any other archetype, they'd be like instant main deck two to three ofs, okay? But in math mech, you do not have the resources capable to be able to make these guys in addition to being able to make your Xyz monsters I mean your synchro monsters don't get me wrong making Alum here and then using his effect to search out a card tribute himself off summon another dude from your graveyard and then provided you haven't used any of the other effects of your other math mechs to be able to make Alum in the first place then you can combo off from there it's nice theoretically but in practice it sucks. I have played this deck quite heavily in the past few weeks, and I have only ever summoned each Xyz monster maybe once or twice out of the 20 or so duels that I've played using this deck. Alum is an overrated card. It's not good. Well, theoretically, it is good, but it's so easily stopped and so easily outed. Moreover, in Mathmex, he just is so resource heavy to make that it's almost not even worth it. Same thing with Lapation. Lapation is a good card, theoretically, but he is not worth making. Moreover, he clogs up your extra monster zone. And guess what? The big boss monster wants to be there. He doesn't want to be in the main monster zone. He wants to be in the extra monster zone. And that's my biggest issue with this deck, is that it's not able to effectively make use of Link monsters to get more mo extra deck monsters out. Having Lapation out alongside the synchros would be phenomenal because then he can protect them but no you can't do that because the act because the synchros want to be in the extra monster zone it's garbage and it's annoying and i really wish konami would not put this many restrictions on a almost good archetype if ah, okay rant over play one to two copies of each of these preferably one location two copies of alum if you really want to but honestly i recommend one of each because you really don't need more than one of each especially considering that alum is stupidly overpriced right now okay <clears throat> moving on math geo math mech magma he's a level eight synchro tuner effect monster 2500 attack zero defense i don't know why all the extra deck, all the extra deck monsters have zero defense but it's just something there uh cyber synchro tuner effect one tuner plus one or more non-tuners really nice that he's generic especially since he's honestly a generally decent synchro uh when this card destroys a monster by battle, you can target up to two cards. Your opponent controls destroy them. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one Math Max Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Math Max Magma once per turn. And I recommend playing two of them. He's a good, nice little mid-step boss monster, but you generally don't use him too much. Then, you got the true final boss monster, Geo Math Mech Final Sigma. He's a level 12 Cyber Synchro Effect Monster. One tuner, plus one more non-tuners. So he's also generic, which is kind of hilarious. 3k attack, zero defense. Unaffected by card effects except for Math Mech cards while in the extra monster zone. That's my main issue right there. If this card in the extra monster zone battles an opponent's monster... Any battle damage that inflicts to your opponent is doubled. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one Math Mech card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Final Sigma once per turn. So, right off the bat, let's go ahead and just talk about these two cards along with a bit of Alum, okay? Final Sigma and also Magma are both really great cards in general for their on-field effects. My biggest issue with these cards comes twofold. First and foremost, for both of them, as well as also Alum. These are the only search cards in the deck, okay? Other than Nabla, technically, but he's a freaking uh, Lone Fire Blossom on the field, okay? This deck has no way of searching out its combo pieces or its resources other than making Alum, who needs at least two monsters to make to be able to search out any of your Math Mech cards, and, of course, Magma and Final Sigma, who both need to be destroyed in order to search out your Math, Math, Math Mech cards. And even then, Magma can only search out the spell and traps, while Sigma can search out anything. But again, they need to be destroyed, and you don't want that, because generally speaking, Final Sigma should be closing out the game. If your Final Sigma does not close out the game, and it goes over to your opponent's next turn, and they have a way of outing Final Sigma, which most places, uh, honestly, most archetypes don't, other than Boral Sword, uh, theoretically, if they can jack up its attack enough, then, <laughs> uh, then well, you've messed up, okay? And honestly, this deck... God... 
The reliance on the extra monster zone and Final Sigma being in the extra monster zone is what really kills it, along with the utter lack of searching other than on the two synchros and on one of the XC's monsters, okay? This card is capable of closing out the game in one single attack, yet honestly the deck has such a hard issue with actually getting him out sometimes that it's pathetic because the deck has no way of getting to its cards to make him. You have to rely on outside support like sign at backdoor, sign at mining something like that in order to actually get them out all the deck is full of once per turn hard once per turn effects and it's really hard for the deck to get off if you stop its normal summon the deck is oftentimes effectively dead unless they have addition subtraction and sigma in their hand and if they don't then they're screwed it really 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 is annoying and this deck could have been so so much better if final sigma was just unaffected by all card effects except for math my cards Period. Okay? Like, generally speaking. But no. No, he's gotta be in the extra monster zone to be able to do that. Which means that the plethora of really good Cypress Link monsters are pointless in this archetype. It's really obnoxious. That being said, Final Sigma's your end goal, your main boss monster. Play two to three of them. Moving on. Let's talk about the equipped spell. Something that's also kind of important. Math Mech Billion Blade Nayuda. It's an equipped spell, obviously. Equip only to a Cyber monster. If the equipped monster battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, you can send one Math Mech monster from your deck to the graveyard. The equipped monster gains attack equal to the sent monster's attack until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. If this card is sent from the spell on trap card zone to the graveyard, you can target one Math Mech card in your graveyard, accept a copy of itself, and add it to your hand. You can only use this each effect of uh, Billion Blade Nayuda once per turn. Nayuda is a really great card for the archetype. For one thing, it gets stuff in your graveyard that you really want to be in there. <laughs> that being said, generally speaking, whenever you have this equipped to Final Sigma, you're generally winning the game because you're going to send one of your dudes with a thousand attack to the graveyard. Sigma is going to be at 6,000. He's going to jump up to 7,000. And then you're going to do a crap ton more damage. It's that simple. You rarely ever actually have to rely on Ayuda's graveyard recursion effect, but it is nice being there just in case your opponent tries to destroy it or something. That all being said, I still I, I recommend playing two of it. This card really does help out the deck close out the game and win, so it's just something that's absolutely needed in the archetype until we get something better. Moving on, we got the Monster Reborn of the archetype. Literally, that's what it is. Math Mech Equation. Target a Math Mech in your graveyard. Special summon it, and if you do, it gains a thousand attack and in a turn. You can only activate one copy of it per turn. I don't know why they had to slap a hard once per turn clause on it, but they did. That being said, this deck needs all the help it can get to be able to combo off, and it's only got two spell cards, so play three it is, like in all honesty. Moving on, we got Math Mech Induction. It's a continuous trap card. All cyber monsters you control gain 500 attack. If you control a math mech monster, you can send this card from this face up card from the field to the graveyard and then target one card your opponent controls. Destroy it. You can only use this effect of math mech induction once per turn. I don't really think I need to say it, but you do not need this card in your deck. It, it is garbage. The extra 500 attack is nice and all theoretically, but this should have been a continuous spell for that, okay? The 500 attack bonus is not enough to really warn it, and it really doesn't need that extra amount of attack power whenever you got the sword to pump up your damage by a thousand theoretically like at max and then you got all the other ways to just gain more attack you don't need induction and the effect to destroy a card by sending this to the graveyard is just not worth it there's other easier ways to do targeted destruction that doesn't require you to send a trap card that you need to wait a turn to be able to use this card is not worth it it's utter garbage just throw it in your binder and forget about it because no one's gonna want it Moving on, we got Math Mech Super Factorial, a trap card to actually worth considering. Target up to three Math Mech monsters in your graveyard with different names and activate one of these effects. You special summon them, but their effects are negated. Then immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro summon one Math Mech Synchro monster using only those monsters and shuffle the materials into the deck instead of sending them to the graveyard, thus preventing you from getting their effects of Sebi and sent to the graveyard and like doubling freaking Sigma's attack or something. Or you can spell summon them, have their effects negated, and then immediately after that, uh, ex after this effect resolves, XC summon one Math Mech XC monster using only those material monsters as materials. You can only use one. You can only use one Math Mech Super Factorial per turn. This card is actually decent. 
The issue is, is that it's not really particularly needed for Math Max. It's more of a fail safe in case the archetype does like fall through or like your OTK fails or something. So it is nice in that regard, but however, it's not often needed. So play two to three copies or don't play any at all. Like in all honesty, it's not something that is incredibly needed, but it is nice. If you're going to play it, I recommend playing two to three just so you see it more often because it is another game winner, but it's down to you. Moving on, let's just talk about this deck overall. The reliance on having Final Sigma in the Ashrek and the fact that there is no way of searching out anything in this archetype outside of using Sign at Backdoor or Sign at Mining is really obnoxious, okay? This deck needs more way of searching, okay? It needs something that says, like, I don't know, send one Math Mech card from the deck to the graveyard, then if you have a Math Mech on the field, draw two or something. I don't know. That'd probably be way too stupid, but you, you get what I mean. Uh, it needs something like that to boost its consistency. Side net mining is okay in the deck. With the fact that a lot of the cards have effects that trigger when they're sent to the graveyard, and they're all level 4, makes it really good in the archetype. And backdoor is arguably better in some circumstances, because you're able to target one of the XC's monsters that are just sitting in your extra monster zone, banish them, search, get your go on. So, it, it's something really to kind of consider either one. Uh, honestly, in my build, I've been testing out both, and it's been working pretty good. Like, the, the amount of search power the deck has now, thanks to these, is really great. Uh, Signet Optimization is another card that is absolutely necessary, uh, as this is the card that gives you the extra normal summon. Bouncer Lord is another option, but he requires you to pay your life points for it, and honestly, that's not particularly great. So, I recommend Signet Optimization instead, because you're able to get more normal summons more consistently without having to give up more life points. Um, the deck, as I mentioned before, can't make effective use of links at all, because they want their boss monster to be in the extra monster zone, not in the main monster zone, which means, well... You're kind of screwed over if you make a Link monster. The deck is able to OTK consistently. This deck is kind of scary with how easy it is to OTK, but however, uh, it, it does have its moments where it's like, oh, I don't have any way of searching, and I have no way of getting to my tuners, so I have no way of making my boss monster, so I'm kind of just screwed until I can get something going. It, it sucks. <laughs> uh, so it needs more consistency buffing. And as I mentioned, I think it really needs another good spell card. It really needs a searcher that searches out like a Math Max monster or Math Max spell or trap card. You know, like something as simple as discard a card at a Math Max, which basically is what sign up mining is. But however, I'd like it if there was an archetypal card for it as well, because then, hey, if, if one of your synchros does die, you can at least have that fallback on too. I don't know, just my general thoughts after playing this deck like a lot and almost being done building it IRL. Uh, so, I don't know, what do you guys think of, uh, Math Mix? Is it good? Is it bad? What do you think they need? Uh, was my rant justified? Oh, God, my throat kind of hurts. Thank you all for watching, have a great day, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, see you all later, peace out, and goodbye. Thank you all for watching the video, have a great day, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you all later.